my name is Ronald uh, Kibidige. I come uh, from Uganda. I am a musician, a dancer, and music and dance researcher, grounded in the Ugandan traditional music. You have over 65 different languages, and each tribe um, has its own music, its own traditions, its, its own cultures. It is always uh, music done within the community by the people, for the people within the communities, in their own localities, because that's what defines where that comes from, from this group of people, from this other group of people. My name is Olaolu Lawal. I'm from Nigeria. I am a musicologist. I'm also a percussionist. I am a composer and arranger of African choral music. I am Yoruba. Dundun music is um, a music that is played by Yoruba people. It's a ceremonial kind of music where the talking drum is played. The drum speaks a specific language, and it's the language of the Yoruba people. The language is broken into basically three uh, forms in terms of uh, speech, speech tone, uh, and that's that's the do, re mi, you know, do, you know, do re mi, you know, a she she tu she do re do re mi re, a she she tu she, a she she tu she, ta ba she ito, a o she mi si. <laughs> what I'm saying is Ashishetunshe, such that we have had this good event. This good event will call for more events that are good in this nature. When there's somebody who, who joins you, it's a different feeling. You open up to somebody else, you open up to the, to the surrounding, you open up to, um, to something new. Someone starts and the other person has to listen. Okay, what can I add to that? You know, not taking the shine off anyone, but just blending in and making, you know, one central music. My name is Juan Felipe Miranda Medina. You can just call me Juan. And I come from Peru. I wanted to learn more about Afro-Peruvian rhythms and dances. So then I've been focusing most on that, both as a performer and as a researcher. Now I do some sort of step dancing, of Peruvian step dancing, which I like very much, uh, called zapateo. Zapato means shoe, so it means like using your shoes or shoeing. Zapateo is a tradition for Christmas, uh, as an adoration for baby Jesus. Spaniards are said to have been really concerned with Catholicism during colonization, so then they used a number of devices for make of both Indian and African descendants believers. They would group the different uh, black people and Indian people into squads called atajos and these squads would march and they would be praising Jesus and doing different steps together. Let me backtrack to the very first rehearsal that we had, myself and Juan, you know, him playing on the cajon and me saying, oh, I recognize that, you know, I can play that. As a Yoruba person, just those points that draw us together, you know, those rhythms that are similar in nature. The connection between Africa and the African diaspora, as I feel, at least in Peru, is still understudied. You have the knowledge in the form of people that know about this. Now many of those masters are old. So I think that another valuable thing of having this sort of collaboration is precisely at least identifying by ear some rhythms that are similar.
research is really uh, also about um, diversity. It's also about opening up to the world, opening, have, having a, an open mind where you can learn. Before I played with them, you know, I had this mindset that I was coming to to give. You know, I had all these rhythmic ideas that I wanted to share. But also seeing how you're able to compromise, how you're able to learn, how you're able to listen, how you're able to work together as a team, as a team rather. You know, that for me, uh, it's is beautiful. <laughs> Many times we tend to orient this sort of knowledge to PhD projects of doing research, and that is very good. But I think it's also just good to have artistic residencies and just sit and explore. Perhaps this would be a, a different way of doing research and of spreading knowledge and of sharing it with an audience as well. Mm -hmm.